he was one of the biggest batsmen then and of course now as well a great legend but i think uh, when i started playing for pakistan my dream was to get sunny gavaskar out because i remember uh, imran talking about him all the time about his technique javed bhai talking about him all the time all these zahir abbas everybody was everybody talked about of one batsman that was sunil gavaskar his technique his temperament and obviously for uh, for me getting his, his wicket was ultimate i remember in 87 uh, i bowled a quick spell i was beginning to bowl quick at the time it was chennai test the first test match and uh, sunny got some runs there 70 80 and ball was reverse swinging but and i bowled a couple of bounces i remember still remember after 20 20 odd years that he went up there on a front foot then he came all the way back he ball followed him it was an in swinging bouncer ball followed him he went all the way bent back and he could see the ball watch past him and he, he has he had so much time and he is he was so still as a batsman his head was so still he never gave me in wicket in test matches and the only time i got him was in hyderabad dakkan that was in 87 and it was a one day uh, game where i also bowled a bouncer and i think uh, srikanth got hit on his eye as well but sunny bhai edged me to second slip it was a grassy wicket i think that was the only grassy wicket i remember in india in 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 one day cricket and that was dream come true for me when the ball went to second slip and i didn't say anything to sunny bhai but obviously at the time i was very young i was in awe of him still and in awe of him uh, you know he's a, he's a, he, he's a legend for me and i i i had i remember the tours when i was very young when pandya used to come to pakistan i remember three four names from there sunny gavaskar chetan chohan left arm kirsan ghavri these were the name who regular feature regularly featured in indian team whenever they played in pakistan but uh, sunny's technique was incredible he he always played the ball very very late and he never given his wicket away that was the beauty of him he was always be on the crease he doesn't matter uh, what what are you know doesn't matter the condition the conditions doesn't matter the wicket doesn't matter the situation he was always there positive on front foot and leaving the ball and i as a bowler always hated batsmen who used to leave the good deliveries and sunny was the master in 87 88 i was just a young bowler for me as a bowler there was no planning i used to come and my aim was to bowl quick run in every ball and uh, imran used to talk to me almost every delivery i felt comfortable talking to him okay skipper what should i do now okay do this what should i do now and this new ball just bowl out sir off stump and you know don't give anything away in test cricket uh, when the ball started reversing then then bowl yorkers have you mid on and mid off straighter but i think with sunny my aim was just to bowl length just to bowl length and just to bowl within the stumps because he was so uh, he he was so uh, uh, you know proper as far as knowing his off stump concern he used to leave ball just outside off stump even coming back in he had so much idea where the off stump was and that's annoyed me a lot and he was uh, also very aware of my yorkers at the time i was learning to bowl yorkers and he knew everything what i was doing it was incredible to see how he coped with my pace at the time uh, 87 88 and he got runs against us every test match he played so i think i reckon he was one of the most difficult batsmen i bowled at early on in 80 87 88 he was wearing a helmet he started off with this uh, this cap one uh, he, he used to look very cool in it i still remember that in charja he used to wear that with uh but uh, yes the batsman never wore a helmet i uh, uh, you know i said okay is is not going to get drive from me again even we richard i used to bowl a lot of bounces because he never wore a helmet carl hooper in the beginning didn't wore a helmet richard richardson never wore a helmet but they were great players so these batsmen uh, i mean uh, they knew how to leave a bouncer so that's why uh, but, but me as a bowler i always knew i had a chance to give him one or two bounces to put him on a back foot but it never happened with sunny bhai